Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to connect a remote database of my little admin for SQL Server. And the remote database is GoDaddy Hosting and the coding I'm using PHP. Right now, I'm in the Notepad++ and the file name is connection.php. After finish the code, I will upload this file into my remote database. Let's start the code. In order to connect the database, whether it's my SQL or SQL Server, we need the configuration settings. For SQL Server, now in the code, I will declare the main configuration settings here. For that, the server name. Server name, which is nothing but a host name. Connection info. and connection string. And notice here I declared three variables server name, connection info and connection to get the database connection string settings. I'm signing to GoDaddy account to log in my my little admin for SQL server. Sign in. After I log in to my little admin for SQL Server, now go to the connection info, click connection. Here the data source, which is nothing but a host name. Copy this IP address and paste that data source IP address. And the second one is a connection info array which takes three parameters one is the database and the second parameter is the user name which is uid here goes to username and the third one is the password pwd now in this array method i declare three parameters one is the database second parameter is user id and third one is a password so here and now the database is after the data source now we need the database just copy the database name, paste that database name and the user ID give your my little admin for SQL server user ID and password. Username and this is the password. Just for the security reason, I am giving here that fake user ID and password. At the time of uploading this file, I will change into the real credentials. Now the third one is a connection. SQL SRV underscore connect method, which takes two parameters. One is the server name. The other one is a connection info. Now, if dollar con echo connection successful, if it fails, else echo fail to connect the database die and this die method print f print r sorry print r sql srv underscore errors method 
it says boolean true now the next step is dollar sql is a select statement select start from the table name so we'll go to the database again expand the user database here the my host and server expand the my host and server and the tables i'm using the emp table open table and this is the emp table i'm using in the select statement and here the emp table as well as i'm declaring the employee table column names also which is employee name and the other one is the occupation from emp table stmt is equals to sql server query which takes two parameters one is the uh, this one the connection the other one is the sql these two parameters we have to declare after that if dollar stmt triple equals to false die print underscore or method takes two parameters one is to display the any errors here mm, sql srv underscore errors method and the other one is a boolean parameter which is true while dollar row is equals to sql srv underscore fetch array method takes two parameters one is the this one sql server query stmt and the other one is the sql srv underscore fetch ass was here these two after these two echo dollar row is a the first column name employee name dot and the second one is a dollar row and second column name is the occupation paste here and I'm giving break to display the second on a new line I think everything is done correctly here the username and password at the upload time I will change into my real credentials I'm saving this file connection.php now it's time to upload this file now I'm uploading the file connection.php through file manager clicking file manager click upload add file the connection.php file is at the desktop see here is the connection.php I have just uploaded here and copy this and the website name is greatdiscounts.co.in let's check in the browser with connection.php and in the browser the domain name is Great discounts dot co dot in slash and the file name is the connection dot php enter and here is the output connection established jack programmer chris and now we'll check in the database see the employee name and the occupation jack chris ganesh jack chris ganesh programmer vlogger programmer programmer vlogger programmer that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos